Mike Kliss joins us now live. And Mike, wide receiver was a position of strength for the Broncos, was being the key word in that sentence. Yeah, exactly. Besides Patrick, who we all know went down yesterday with that ACL injury, Kendall Hinton didn't practice today because of a knee injury. Tyree Cleveland, I just found out, Rod, he didn't just get poked in the throat. He got whacked by a helmet. He's going to be out four to six weeks, which makes him a little iffy. He's a core special teamer for that opener against uh, the Seattle Seahawks. So they're going to have to sign one soon. And then I think George Payton will pick one up at the end of the preseason when all the teams make their final cuts. Mike, you broke the news earlier today that the Broncos have signed Max Borgie, a former Colorado high school superstar. Sure was. He had nearly 1,700 rushing, uh, 1,700 yards rushing at Pomona High School and 27 touchdowns. That's quite a senior year. Went to Washington State, had a great sophomore year, over 800 yards rushing, 86 catches. That's Christian McCar McCaffrey uh, type numbers. Then he got banged around a little bit as far as injuries. So he's trying to make it as an undrafted rookie. Good luck to him. They need, they're going to need him for some carries in the preseason. Big opportunity, that's for sure. Final thing for you, Mike. Russell Wilson, of course, has been the big story at camp, but Pat Sertan has been the best player. He definitely has been the best player. Kind of feel for Cortland Sutton a little bit. He's their number one receiver, and he's had trouble getting some catches downfield. Sertan has just been knocking away ball after ball. He was uh, all rookie last year. He should be all pro this year. He is their best player, Russell Wilson or no Russell Wilson. He truly has been spectacular. Mike, thank you very much. We'll have more with Mike coming up tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock.